National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Wikipedia article audio. The National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences is a medical institution located in Bangalore, India. Established in 1925, Nimans, the apex center for mental health and neuroscience education in the country, operates autonomously under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Founding and History Organization and Administration Departments Centers Controversy and Criticism Notable People Notes The history of the Institute dates back to 1847, when the Bangalore Lunatic Asylum was founded. In 1925, the government of Mysore rechristened the asylum as the Mental Hospital. The Mysore Government Mental Hospital became the first institute in India for postgraduate training in psychiatry. The National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences was the result of the amalgamation of the erstwhile State Mental Hospital and the All India Institute of Mental Health established by the Government of India in 1954. The institute was inaugurated on December 27, 1974, establishing it as an autonomous body under the Society's Registration Act to lead in the area of medical service and research in the country. On November 14, 1994, Nimans was conferred a deemed university status by the University Grants Commission with academic autonomy. The institute has been declared as an institute of national importance by an Act of Parliament in 2012. In March 2017, the Government of India passed the Mental Health Care Bill 2016, which also proposes to set up Nimans like institutions across the nation. The National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences is a multidisciplinary institute for patient care and academic pursuit in the frontier area of mental health and neurosciences. The priority gradient adopted at the institute is service, manpower development, and research. A multidisciplinary integrated approach is the mainstay of this institute, paving the way to translate the results from the bench to the bedside. Several national and international funding organizations provide resources for academic and research activities. We can say at this juncture that she could be suffering from depression. Depression does not lead to permanent loss of speech or physical disability. We are diagnosing why that has happened. There could be complex neurological factors leading to such conditions.